Our service members in combat, unfortunately, have been exposed to significant numbers of explosions. And these explosions involve a blast which is, produces what's called a blast wave, which is a very short, high-pressure pulse which expands from the explosion in every direction at greater than the speed of sound. And this high pressure pulse passes through the body, can be felt by the individual, and actually has been measured inside the intact skull. So we know that it passes through the brain. Okay? It's a, it's a, although it's very short, it's a very high energy transfer into the brain. And uh, nobody really knew what it might do to the brain, really. It hadn't been studied in any, any detail. There's been, been experimental work with uh, small animals, mice and rats, uh, on this. But in terms of what the effects on the human were, it really hadn't been e examined in any detail. With this high pressure wave passing through the brain, and it takes only a few milliseconds to pass through. I mean, it's very quick. The potential of specific damage to the brain was there uh, and needed to be examined.